So that I'm going to let the software do that calculation. Let's look at the the formula this time. So we're down here. Uh, total credits. This is this is standard deduction, larger taxable income, tax before uh, credits. So that's going to be the uh, fourteen two sixty six. So I'm going to say, all right, I let it do the calculation one four two six six. Now once I have that. I can back into the average tax rate. So I'm going to say, okay, what's the average tax rate? Well, that's the 14,266 divided by the taxable income, making that a percent home tab number group percentified to recognize. And if I pull back on over here, that's going to give us the 16.6. Let's add a decimal so we can see it. Add a decimal home tab, 16.6, right? And then after that, we've got, I'm going to say minus other, well, that's not right, other credits. So now we've got basically the below the line credits. I'm just going to put a zero in here for now. We'll talk about the credits, more credits later. So we'll add more worksheets to feed into that line item later. And then we've got other I'm not going to underline it yet home tab un underline plus this should be tax before credits and other taxes and then minus uh, other credits plus other taxes I've kind of mixed up my capitals and non capitals here other taxes and that would be like self employment tax We'll talk more about that later. And then I'm going to put an underline here and say that's going to give us equal to enter our total uh, tax. So the total tax is going to be equal to this tax. That, that's uh, the, the tax that we owe. And then credits will reduce that. So credits are good because it's going to reduce the tax that we owe. And then if there are other taxes, I'm going to say plus, like self-employment tax, for example, we'd have to add that, which would be bad in this case, because now that... Right?